Hello, and welcome to another episode of SDK TV, powered by Data Meaning, brought to you by Patrick Karen. Today, we're going to walk through an example of our MicroStrategy to Tableau connector. So what our connector can do is that we can connect to a MicroStrategy report. And from there, we can read that report and collect data. With that data, we're able to create a Tableau extract file. And within that, we're able to export it and create a workbook within Tableau with the exact same data from MicroStrategy. So we're going to go ahead and walk through a quick demo of how this all works. For this example, in our MicroStrategy environment, we're going to be working within our MicroStrategy tutorial project. So within our shared reports folder, we're going to go in there and we have a Tableau folder there as well. In this folder, we have all the reports we're going to be working with for this demo. If we take a look at our front end for this connector, you'll see these are all the reports that we just had in that Tableau folder. Let's go back to our MicroStrategy and look at one of these reports and see the data that's in there. So here we have a report called Profit by State. Once we run this through our connector and get the result in Tableau, all of this data should be the same. So if we scroll down through the reports that we have, eventually we'll find our Profit by State report. And on some of these reports you're seeing one button and some of them you're seeing two. Before you can do anything with a report, you first have to import the data from MicroStrategy. So if data's already been imported into a report, instead of seeing an import button, you're going to see an option to refresh any data in case you made any changes or anything like that. Once data's been imported, this means that the Tableau extract has been created and you can click the Create Workbook button. Once you create a workbook, the page is automatically going to redirect you to your freshly created Tableau workbook. So let's pick a report and then go ahead and click the Import Data button. So whenever you import data or refresh data, you get a timestamp showing you the last modified date. So while we're here, we might as well refresh the data on our Profit by State report, just in case anything's changed. So we have a designated folder here where all of our Tableau extracts that are created go into. Since we just imported data on two reports, we should see those extracts here. If we look, our demo data report is here. And up there, right above it, is profit by state. So just to review, these TDE files are the Tableau extracts that will be used to create the workbook. This is the file that gets created when we import from MicroStrategy. So just to make sure that things are working on the Tableau end of things, let's take a look at our Tableau environment. So here we can check our specified Tableau integration workbook. And from there, if we check our data sources, we'll see all the reports that we just imported. With that said, let's actually create a workbook now. So let's go ahead and go back to the integrations front end and look at those two reports that we imported. If we just click the Create Workbook button, and there's our workbook. That easy. So just to make sure that the data we're looking at is the same, and it's the same thing that we got from MicroStrategy, let's add some dimensions and measures. So since we're looking at profit by state, I think it would only make sense that we add customer state as our column. And we add profit as our row. And with that, we have ourselves a graph. If you check the different values, they look like they might be right. But just to double check, let's compare it against our MicroStrategy report. So if we look back at our report and check the value for California, they're both the same. And with that, that concludes our example presentation of the MicroStrategy to Tableau connector. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you around next time.